Well, I just filmed a good part of this video and the camera wasn't even recording. So I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also that bell notification so you're notified when we post videos. We are thrifting family who like to go out and find items that might end up in a landfill and hopefully find them a new home. Yesterday, I stopped by a local thrift store. They do not like us filming there, so I didn't film, but I was on my way home and I had a few minutes to kill and I thought, you know what, let's go in and check see if they have any. I did find some stuff on the shelves, but after comping them and stuff, I just did not feel comfortable purchasing these items to sell on eBay or Poshmark or whatnot. So I kind of put that back since I'm kind of trying to be a little bit more pickier now just because I don't want to pick up stuff that's going to sit here for months upon months upon months and just not sell. I don't want stuff that's going to take up room for a long time. So I found four items that I think are going to do really well either on eBay, whatnot, and possibly Poshmark, which I didn't think about that until right now. So I'm going to show you the four items that I found. There were four pieces of clothing, four shirts. Um, I checked the jeans there too. Uh, it's just, just nothing was really worth the while. I did pay up on one of the items, and I still think even paying up on it, I'll say paying up on it, I still think I'll do pretty well. So the first item I found, I have it hanging up here behind me, is this Holy Land Experience from Orlando, Florida shirt. It is a size medium on a Kaya tag, but what's nice about it is it is brand new with tags. $13 shirt there, but you check the comps on these shirts, they go for, people have them listed for $30 and up. A lot of times with the religion shirts like this, they normally do well. So I really feel I'm gonna do well with this shirt. This is the back on it here. Really, really nice piece. Holy Land Experience, Trinity Broadcasting Network, really nice shirt I paid a dollar 99 for the shirt I feel actually I paid less I paid one dollar for this shirt so I couldn't pass this shirt well I just filmed a good part of this video and the camera wasn't even recording so I'm gonna do this again but you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt that is because the camera died on me just a little bit ago and it's a little bit later in the day now and I figured I might as well finish filming this video so one of the cool shirts we got was this Winter Circle size large Dale Earnhardt Senior shirt, traditional red, black, and white NASCAR logo up here on the back. Really nice Dale Earnhardt piece. I think we paid three or four bucks for this. Not a super, super uh, huge return on investments, but it's still an awesome shirt. So the next shirt is not a huge, huge money maker either. We picked this up for a buck. This will be a low starting bid on whatnot, or possibly even a giveaway. It's a Myrtle Beach, South Carolina shirt on the Comfort Colors tag here. Really cool looking shirt, cool graphic on the front, nothing on the back, but in really good shape. I actually think it was brand new with tags. It actually had a large sticker on it, but I washed it because I just wanted to clean it up and the sticker's off. So still brand new without tags. Next thing we found at the thrift store. Um, yeah, I got a lot of Ohio State gear right now, but this is a Nike Fit Therma long sleeve XL Ohio State long sleeve really cool looking piece kind of older looking it's got the nice Ohio State O on the back right there super super cool piece we paid two dollars for that. next up was this cool Colorado shirt it's Fruit of the Loom 2XL property of Colorado a lot of different colors on this shirt and I really like this blue I don't see any holes or tears or stains or whatnot but it looks nice it's a really nice looking shirt and a lot of people like wearing stuff like this it's a kind of a it's a comfy shirt. Now, this next shirt is honestly a throwback, I'd have to say. Uh, this is a golf tournament that I volunteered at, I spent a lot of time at, and when I saw this shirt on the rack, um, I just couldn't pass it up. I wish it was my size, because I probably would wear it, but it's an XL. Uh, it is from the Toyota Mario Lemieux Celebrity Invitational. Not 100% sure what year this one was, but it also has a UPMC Health Systems on the sleeve here. But it is a size XL on the, Guild, on the Anvil red stripe tag. So really awesome shirt. Uh, I probably had so many of these from back at the tournament. So for two bucks, I wasn't leaving it there. Plus, people love 
sports related stuff like that and it's something that you do not see too often it's Mario Lemieux a lot of celebrities play there Michael Jordan Gretzky uh, a lot of athletes a lot of other athletes celebrities actresses actors stuff like that so it's a really cool shirt now the rest of these couple shirts here are going to be women's shirts but I have one men's shirt that's going to just <sighs> to major bola so stay tuned but this next shirt I thought it was kind of cool uh, for a buck I couldn't pass it up it's original authentic rock wear ant hill trading tag I don't know what size that's a really good question now because I'm not 100% sure what size this is it says Dirty Deeds, ACDC, Done Dirt Cheap. So kind of a cool women's shirt here. Probably like a size medium, I would take it. But it's got the little like cracking on that. Look, so for a buck, couldn't pass it up. Now this next piece. Yes, it's women's, but I can't believe I finally found one. Especially I can't believe I found one in the wild or it or at a thrift store. Because honestly, I've never found one before. But it's a Lululemon. Size extra small. I did comp it while I was in the thrift store because I wanted to see. I know some of it doesn't sell, but it is a green and black. Uh, honestly, it probably will go for about nine bucks. I got it for a dollar. My honestly, my kids might use it, so I'm gonna have to wait to see when my wife gets home if she wants the kids to have it, since they get first dibs on everything. So the next thing up is this women's size large it's Pittsburgh Steelers dress, official NFL gear. It's like a Got the shoulder straps. I'm gonna hold it up, but really nice steeler piece. Really good shape. I don't think there's any holes or tears or in this one. So everybody's always looking for steeler stuff, and we're in steeler country. And honestly, a lot of times steeler stuff does not come up. Got this awesome sweatshirt. It is BTS. Now my daughter, that's all she talks about. I know somebody, her one of her teachers at school loves BTS. Found this sweatshirt. I think it is a size small. She may end up wearing this too, so it's gonna get a good ox, a good bath here soon, and we'll see what happens about it. But who knows? That could be a really, really good seller. And then for your Star Wars fans out here, this is on an official Disney Park Star Wars tee. It is a size two XL, which honestly it does not look that big, but it is a Star Wars shirt, black and silver. Really nice looking shirt, but again, it is a 2XL, so it could be a little bit baggier, but still an awesome shirt. Now on to this major bolo. Uh, yes, at the thrift store that I was at, there was a lot of other resellers there. I saw their carts, I could tell they're definitely reselling for what they were purchasing, and I could, with two of the carts that passed me, I had a lot of sports jerseys in it. So I was still said, you know what, let's go check the jerseys just in case. Glad I did. I found this jersey on the rack and honestly had no idea anything about this sh shirt before in the past. But I'm going to throw a comp up here on the screen right over here. And this one is the only one that's listed on eBay. Now, granted, none have sold within the last 90 days. But with one only being listed, I'm not sure how many are really out there or how many people that are going to sell them. This is also brand new with tags, which I think the one listed on eBay right now is too. But it is a Brooklyn Slices. Jersey, minor league jersey, size XL, OT Sports, brand new with tags. Still got the tag on it, everything. Sorry for the glare, guys. But it's got the minor league logo up here, the New York. It's got the bridge with the pizza slice logo, which is an awesome logo. Now I kind of want a hat with that. And now it also has a baseball player. Looks like a pizza slice swinging a bat. This is an awesome button-down jersey, size or number 19 on it. But Brooklyn slices. Uh, not sure if this is going to end up on whatnot or if it's going to actually end up on eBay. I will probably. We were seven dollars into this one when I noticed it. I figured I was going to definitely take the chance for seven bucks, and I think I'm going to be glad I did. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. Uh, remember, smash that thumbs up button down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And also. While you're at the subscribe button, hit that bell notification just to the right. And that way you're notified when we post new videos. But until next time, guys, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep picking. Bye.